Good afternoon. Um, I felt we had a, a good day of practice. Uh, Love the energy, um, sense of urgency. Guys were locked in and um, definitely was trying to pay attention to the details. So excited about that in our process as we move forward um, towards Sunday against the Saints. And with that, I'll take your questions. Given what happened with DeMar Hamlin, how, how has the messaging been behind the scenes given, given how close that is to just being an athlete in general? Well, we addressed it, and um, which we should have in depth. Uh, this organization, uh, the Teppers, have done a lot to put in place uh, player development things for our, for our players. So uh, we have the resources. Uh, I reached out to everybody uh, via um, voiceover that we sent out to uh, TeamWorks, uh, expressing uh, everything about Hamlin and the things that we saw, uh, things that they experienced and how we're here for them as an organization. And uh, we talked about it again this morning. I uh, had a prayer for him and his family before we started our walkthrough. Uh, and then we addressed it again in the team meeting. So uh, I wanted those guys to have a clear headspace and understand that, um, you know, uh, we understand the magnitude of what happened. And I uh, wanted those guys to go out there and feel comfortable about, about what we're doing. Well, you seeing what happened on Monday night, how did that impact you? Uh, uh, thank God I didn't personally see it. Uh, when I was leaving the office late that night, uh, my assistant Jessica told me about it. And then once I got home, uh, of course, my wife was uh, a little upset and she was filling me in about it. So uh, just to see at that point in time, the facial expressions on uh, the players on the field, uh, to see what was going on with, um, you know, Coach McDermott and, and, and just trying to go through the process, it was, it was definitely touching. And, it makes you understand and realize how precious life is. We love this game that we play and coach, uh, but nothing's more uh, precious than life itself. Steve, there's a lot of talk about whether they should play the games this weekend. Do you feel like your team is going to be ready to play the game? Do you feel like you should play the games? Uh, I, I have no call in that. Uh, that is a league uh, call. But the one thing that we're going to do here is continue to proceed forward, and I'm going to do everything I can to, to get these guys prepared. and mo most importantly, make sure that they're mentally ready based off everything that we just initially talked about. Do you feel, in, in talking to them, do you feel like they're mentally ready? Uh, I, I, think, I think we had a good day of practice. I think that the focus was there. Uh, are they probably still thinking about it? Yes, but uh, we were definitely uh, uh, locked in today. Um, going into this game, uh, Obviously, there's your coaching record on the line. There's thoughts about the future going into this. What's the messaging as far as what you want to get out of this game? Win the day, you know. Stay the course. Do the things that we've been doing. Um, uh, again, a lot of respect for the men in that locker room. I told them the one thing that I never questioned uh, is how we prepare and how we go out and work. And I just told them that when I brought them up from practice. Uh, those guys came in, locked in today. Had a great day of practice. Uh, we're going to finish up with meetings. And uh, we're trying to do everything we can to create an exceptional week of preparation with the um, hopes that that's going to lead to game day execution. Any players particularly uh, had difficulty at all with the uh, Hamlin situation? Uh, we have one player, uh, uh, Kenny Robinson, that's, um, that's real close to him. Uh, they were like brothers. Uh, so uh, he's he's taking it pretty hard. I spent a lot of time with him this morning, and uh, wanted to send him home uh, so he can be able to have time <clears throat> to be able to um, you know really process things. So um, uh, constantly in contact with him, along with the uh, player development team. How does the team internally deal with those things? Do they have like are they psychological, psychiatrists, or whatever? In we we have we have uh, one of the largest probably maybe the largest player development team uh, in the league. Uh, as again, um, the Teppers have done a tremendous job in their commitment in making sure our players have those things uh, uh, ready and, and, and necessary in, in situations like this and really day-to-day -day operation. So uh, those guys do a great job. Did you tell Kenny this to take as long as he needed? Of course. You know, um, yeah, it, to me right now, uh, again, they've, they've known each other since, since middle school. Uh, they're on a group text every week. 
you know, him and him, him and uh, another guy that they grew up with. So uh, he's real close to him. And um, I wanted him to understand as, as well as anybody else uh, in that locker room that uh, we care about you beyond the game of football. So as much as time that he needs, uh, he's going to take. Is there any, anything you'd like to see beyond winning the day from your team this week? I think when we take that approach, I know it's very cliche, and I know you guys, and I respect your job and the things you got to be able to report and talk about, but when we take that approach, I mean, that entails so much. Uh, the meetings, the weight room, uh, the training room, taking care of your body, that rep that we just had in practice. So. I believe if we pay attention to the details, come game day, we'll be ready. So um, the encumbrances of winning the day means a lot. Will Foreman get another rest day this week, or since this is the last week, just going to finish? It really wasn't so much about that, Mike. If you follow really the, uh, the stat sheet, I always feel like when he doesn't have a, a heavy workload, there's no need to give him a day off. So that's the reason why he practiced today. Will there be a position group or even just a specific player or two that you might look to get on the field this week who hadn't really played much? Yeah, you know, we're looking at it all. You know, one guy that uh, I've talked to you guys about it uh, previously, uh, Preston Williams, you know, very intrigued with him. Just big body receiver, um, always done some great things. So I uh, don't know if it's going to happen this week, but, you know, that's definitely a name if you're looking for one. No, guys, I, I'm not. I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, again, my focus is uh, just trying to win this week. Uh, as I stated from day one when I first stood in front of you guys, uh, got, we have 13 weeks, and within that process, we'll figure out exactly what's going to happen at the end. But my mindset, just like with the players, they focus on being focused. How does this Saints team look different from the first time we played in this season? Uh, playing with a lot of confidence. You know, it's. It's hard to win in this league and to go on the road and beat a good team like Cleveland, go on the road and beat a playoff team like the Eagles, extremely impressive. Uh, Dalton is playing at a high level. Uh, Kamara is playing uh, at a high level. When you look at uh, just their talent, uh, particularly on the defensive side of the ball, veteran group up front led by uh, Cameron. Uh, so uh, Cameron Jordan, you know, he, he's still playing at a high level, you know, uh, Davis at the linebacker position. You got Honey Badger, and then you got a lot of more on the outside. So they have, you know, talent at each level of their defense. And you go on the other side, you have Davenport. So uh, we're going to definitely have our hands uh, filled this week in trying to, uh, you know, go out and execute and do the things we have to do to win a football game. So uh, Dennis Allen's going to have those guys ready to play, and we're, gonna, we're ready for the challenge. See, despite the division no longer being on the line, how important is it to you and what you're trying to build here to win this division game to close the year and have a very good division record intact? Uh, it's important. It's important because it's the next one. Uh, we want to finish on a positive note. Uh, I think it's always good when you can go into off season uh, with a win, that confidence, and uh, propel that into the uh, to the off season. So uh, it, it means a lot, and I think our players understand that. And uh, it's no such thing as really that pride. I mean, uh, we're playing because we're men and we want to win. Steve, when you have two teams that are not making the playoffs, like we have this week with this game, does that allow you to maybe pull out the stops and, and do things that you know you may have wanted to try over the course of the season in terms of play calling or? Things along those lines, or you just kind of stay with it, stay the course. No, I think I think each week you try to evolve and still try to be creative, you know, in, in the things that you're doing. I think you know you still manage the game the way you do it. Uh, as there are opportunities that you know you feel like based off the course of the game, you're going to go for it on fourth down. Yes, uh, is there certain things you may want to try? Uh, I think you do that each and every week. So uh, we're going to stay the course. Did you have an opportunity to reach out to Sean McDermott? <coughs> 
I text uh, Sean that night and uh, you know told him that my wife and I were, was uh, was praying for them uh, uh, in Hamlin and and you know he texts back and but but that's that was it you know so uh, still praying for you know uh, him and his family and the whole uh, Bills organization uh, as well as this league because so many others were affected by uh, what they saw. I don't know if you've seen any of the support that he's gotten about his charity and all that stuff, but. Um, as somebody who, you know, is constantly covered by the media and, and sometimes can, you know, it can kind of feel like you guys aren't humanized. It, what does that say kind of about the response that he's kind of gotten it, from this situation? I think it just it shows you the compassion uh, that we have uh, in society, you know, that uh, regardless of, of the entertainment factor that we get from this game, uh, when something of this magnitude happens, that we can all come together for, for a great cause. So uh, I don't know, lately I heard it was up to probably like six million. I don't know what it is now. So uh, that, that shows you the, the support uh, that uh, people have. Are there any plans that you know of from the organization or yourself, players, to contribute to those efforts? Uh, I haven't heard anything from a, a organizational standpoint, but I have heard chatter with the players wanting to try to reach out and do something, yes. Thank you.